members, respected teachers, and all my dear friends. Today, I feel proud, privileged, and honored as I'm going to present the pen portrait of a famous icon, Martin Luther King, in front of you all. I bet that there will be only few people sitting in the auditorium who may not know about the famous personality Martin Luther King. With this question, today I will be representing Oxford House is going to present Martin Luther King in front of you all. I, Martin Luther, going to take you back to the magic and nostalgic movement of August 28, 1963. When I gave, I have a dream speech in Lincoln's Memorial, Washington, D.C. So here it begins. I'm happy to join you today in what will go down in the history as the greatest demonstration of freedom in the history of our nation. But hundred years later, hundred years later, the Negro is still not free. Hundred years later, the Negro is still crippled with chains of discrimination. Hundred years later, the Negro still lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow the literary fight a proclamation. That proclamation became a great beacon light of hope for millions of Negroes who have been burned in the flames of injustice. So I have came to our nation's capital today to cash check. I have a dream that one day on the islands of Georgia, all the sons of former slaves and all the sons of former slave owners will sit together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day my all four children will not be just on the basis of their color. Instead, they will be just on the basis of their character. I, my Luther King, is the leader of civil rights movement. And I'm going to help my Negro brothers and sisters to get justice.